This is welcome news. Stock market raucous to the highest level in weeks. Wall Street shrugged off Wednesday. The gloom that was uh, striking and the uncertainty as the stock market's most famous index stormed across the 23,000 point barrier the first time since March 13. Dow Jones Industrial Average rose to 23,433.57. That's an increase of 779.71 points or 3.44%. Standards and Poor's the S&P 500 index rose 3.4%. Collective 23% gain since it hit bottom mid-March, according to New York Times. Markets appear to be weighing the good and the bad, according to Mike Lowengard, Managing Director of Investment Strategy E-Trade Financial. This is what he told Bloomberg. In view of the economic data, we're seeing the market latch onto signs of optimism around the pandemic. Basically, it's two reasons. The one reason is the fact that they uh, think that they've, they've hit a level, some kind of a level. And the second reason is that Bernie Sanders dropped out of the race. Sanders' exit removes the tail risk of some of his uh, policies. It immediately sets up focus on Biden versus Trump. With Sanders out of the race, no one is left to oppose former Vice President Joe Biden in his quest for Democratic presidential nomination. Biden's policy will get a new scrutiny now that he is presumptive nominee, but the truth of the matter is that the market will be looking towards Washington more to help the economy, and much of the assistance matches his platform. The key focus of the peak concerning the pandemic, that seems to be on everyone's investors, every investor's mind right now, is when will coronavirus cases peak? Eric Friedman, Chief Investment Officer at U.S. Bank Wealth Management, North Carolina, says, at some point, the economic considerations really start to materialize, plus what will that transmission mechanism be for the economy, meaning in what phase will the economy be restarted, he says. If the curve is bending for the first time, some timeline is coming into focus for restarting at least parts of the economy. This is what Jim Paulson, chief investment strategist at Luthold Group, told CNBC. It means investors can start to reduce their best guesses as to how long this recession will start and will last, and even if the recession is deep, if its duration can be shortened and known with some greater clarity, this would tend to raise the value of the stock market, of course. And he says if you want to wait until the coast is clear, you'll have missed a huge part of the gains. And professional investors can't afford to do that. It's positive that people are talking about reopening the economy, and the White House has been talking about that. The more we can focus on what the economy will look like several months out, the better it will be for the markets, of course. The market is obviously focused on the issue at hand, not just the number of new cases, which seems to be slowing down, but also increasing signs of getting back to normal in economic activity. This is what Jeffrey Kind top chief global investment strategist at Charles Schwab says, and he's add, he added the idea that this economic freefall is actually close to finding the bottom, I think is a bigger driver for optimism in the markets. This is by Jack Davis on Western Journal. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition, 
and the community around our church. Thank you.